Hi and welcome back. This one will be short. I just really wanted to share the thermal results of this beast with you. Underneath what Gigabyte calls a stylish heatsink lies a GPU that the regulars of the channel are familiar with. You see, this is, to my knowledge, the first rebranding done by AMD, where they filled up the mid-range section of their HD6000 lineup with older HD5000 chips. This video is not going to be a full review of the HD6770. As you can see in the GPU-Z window on screen, the card uses the same Juniper chip used in the HD5770. You've seen this card quite recently. Even the PCB used by Gigabyte for this GV-R677SL-1GD is identical to the one used for the GV-R577OC-1GD. <sighs> Who comes up with these names? How about the HD6770 Ugly and the HD5770 Batmobile? Anyway, we'll be focusing on the thermals on this one. The card was precariously placed in a mining adapter outside of the case and this was done because I like my GPUs medium rare, not burned to a crisp. The setup is completed with an A4 6400 APU from the bulldozer era and 4 GB of DDR3 system RAM. And as you can see on screen, this is perfectly fine as long as the GPU gets loaded to basically 100%. Heaven was the first test and the GPU load did stay high. The temperatures unfortunately also stayed high, rising quickly to the 70s. The speed the temperature increased had me thinking that we're about close to thermal equilibrium. Now, GPU-Z was also reporting a fan spin different from zero. So I decided to see if the fan circuit was actually complete. I started poking with the multimeter set to frequency mode to see if I could detect the PVM signal on any of what looked to be solder points for the fan connector, but I got zero. Going back to the PC however, I found the GPU having an identity crisis and wanting to identify itself as a toaster. The temperature was just moving from the high 80s to the low 90s. This is not how I want to run my GPUs and I would be more than happy to rig a fan on this card to avoid getting it damaged. As for using it to build a completely silent PC, that's a bad idea right there. If you are to look at the product page, link in the description by the way, this is what you'd see. This stylish, uh, debatable if you ask me, so this stylish heatsink uses the natural airflow of the case to cool down. And therein lies the problem, a completely silent PC has no fans, the only natural airflow in such system would be natural convection, and from my tests that's not quite enough to keep this on cool. Both the reference design from ATI and the Batmobile design by Gigabyte run at least 20 degrees Celsius cooler. So, the question here is, what ranks higher on your priority list, fewer decibels or a longer lifespan for your GPU? I want to preserve these pieces of technology, so the HD6770 will stay in its box. It will be the good known working card, in case something happens to the Batmobile. Anyway, thanks for watching, this is it for this one. I hope you liked it and I'll see you for the next one.